This is a Swedish to go video about short answers. And since you know English, it's actually not that complicated, thank goodness. It's uh, the equivalent of um, your form of saying things like Yes, I do, instead of saying Yes, I would like to marry you. And uh, we'll look at what to think of a little extra and uh, make sure you listen to the pronunciation in this movie. One rule when it comes to short answers or korta svar is that if the question has a helping verb then we should answer with the same, the same helping verb. Uh, we're just gonna have a quick repetition of what a helping verb might be. So here's some examples. Kan, that means can in English. Vill, this is a tricky one. It means want, not will. Ska, and that's what means will or shall. Måste, får, behöver, borde, har. Now, all these verbs we usually use uh, as a present tense, uh, but we can use them to help create, uh, for example, uh, future tense. So uh, we're gonna have a look at some examples. If the question has a helping verb, then we should answer with the same. So how does that look? The question is, har du jobbat idag? Have you worked today? Har du jobbat idag? The answer would be Ja, det har jag. Ja, det har jag. Nej, det har jag inte. Nej, det har jag inte. Another question. Är nyckeln borta igen? Är nyckeln borta igen? Is the key gone again? This is a very common question in my house. And the answer could be Ja, det är den. Ja, det är den. A very common answer to that question. Nej, det är den inte. Nej, det är den inte. So as you can see, you answer with the same verb as the question. Another example. Vill du komma hem till mig? Vill du komma hem till mig? Vill du komma hem till mig? And this is actually, do you want to come home to me? Not will you? The answer is hopefully, ja, det vill jag. If you are somehow rude, you could say, Nej, det vill jag inte. But most often you answer, ja, det vill jag. And after that you can come with an excuse. But, anyway. Uh, let's look at the tense for a little bit. Because the tense is important. What time we're speaking. And we answer with the same tense as the question is asked in. So the question could be, Hade du roligt igår? Hade du roligt igår? Did you have fun yesterday? And we have to answer, Ja, det hade jag. Ja, det hade jag. Or, Nej, det hade jag inte. Nej, det hade jag inte. Another question. Var nyckeln borta igen? Var nyckeln borta igen? Which means was the key gone again? And the answer could
could be. Ja, det var den. Ja, det var den. Nej, det var den inte. Nej, det var den inte. Or the question, ville du komma hem till mig? Ville du komma hem till mig? Did you want to come home to me? And the answer would be, ja, det ville jag. Ja, det ville jag. So, these examples show that if you, for example, ask a question in past tense, then you answer in past tense. What if the, uh, the question is not with a helping verb? Let's look at that. The question could be, Tycker du om att jogga? Tycker du om att jogga? Do you like to jog? We would answer, quite similar to the English yes I do. Ja, det gör jag. Ja, det gör jag. Nej, det gör jag inte. Nej, det gör jag inte. Because if you translate do, the Swedish verb is gör. So this is very close to the English. Another example. Åker Lars bil till festen? Åker Lars bil till festen? And the answer. Ja, det gör han. Ja, det gör han. Nej, det gör han inte. Nej, det gör han inte. And the same thing with uh, uh, without the helping verbs is if the tense is in past tense, for example, then we answer in past tense. Reste ni utomlands på semester? Reste ni utomlands på semester? Meaning, did you travel abroad on your vacation? We would have to answer, Ja, det gjorde vi. Ja, det gjorde vi. Nej, det gjorde vi inte. Nej, det gjorde vi inte. Because gjorde is past, past tense of gör. Har du lärt dig nu? Har du lärt dig kort svar nu? And I'm hoping you will say, ja, det har jag. Ja, det har jag. <laughs>